We've been joined in the studio by two weight boxing world champions, Savannah Marshall, who is switching uh, to mm. uh, MMA. She's got a first fight up in Newcastle on June the 8th. Good to see you, Savannah. Yeah, yeah, thanks for having me. Wow. So I'm just saying to you off air there, the, the training's been going OK, has it? Because, you know, I mean, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a contact sport, but, you know, there's a lot more to it in, in terms of uh, what you need to do. Oh, 100%. And I'd be lying if I said that. I didn't totally underestimate it. Mm. It's a lot harder than what, what I thought. A lot well, more to it. I mean, is it just the amount? Obviously, there's, there's different disciplines and stuff. But is it, I, mean, I imagine it's even more tiring than boxing, isn't it? It's different. Like I think boxing's very uh, cardio based. You go in the gym, you blast in the bags, you spar. Whereas this is very strength oriented. You know, when you're grappling uh, on the floor, it's 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 pure like strength. And it's not your background. I mean, so quite a lot of people are going to it. They maybe started off in martial arts and then they box. But you went straight into the gym as a boxer, didn't you? Oh, yeah. I've, eight months ago, I've never kicked, never grappled, never been on the floor. It's all, <laughs> it's all brand new. Wow. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. Have you had to sort of decide what style you're going to do? Because people predominantly are boxing or they're kicking their martial arts. I mean, do you know which way you're going to go? Obviously, I'm a striker because I'm I'm a boxer, mm. so me me punches are my bread and butter. But I, I've I've what helped me in boxing doesn't really help me in in MMA. I've had to change my style. I'm a lot more yeah. square on, um, front legs at a, like turn outwards rather than inwards to um defend getting booted in the in the front leg. Well, the early days when you're... It must be weird because you're so used to just sort of standing up and boxing someone. It, just, it must take a little bit of a period adjustment and think, well, blimey, I just got kicked then. It just... It, you have to kind of tune your brain into the fact that there's more that's going to be going on. People are trying to get you onto the ground, they're kicking you, etc. Oh, honestly, and you think I've went from being a world champion, world-class elite, to doing a beginner's class and being mm. a novice and just getting tapped mm. left, right and centre. So definitely there was the ego went it was straight humbling. out of the door yeah, very hum imagine. I'm getting humbled every session yeah near enough but it, it's I've boxed for 22 years right it's a long time of you know jab hook uppercut all this is new yeah and mm. it's exciting so it's it's very refreshing for me you were telling me it was that we used to tell us off air mm. just now that you know, kind of the seed of this came quite a few years ago before your boxing career sort of took off when you started to think about it yeah i remember going into a gym in newcastle i think it was 2013 very very early on i only did one or two sessions and i remember thinking oh there's too much to learn here there's too much mm. going on so walked like went away went back to, to boxing olympics stuff like that and then early lockdown uh, MMA fighters, women were getting opportunities still, whereas female boxers weren't. So I remember doing a couple of training sessions with Molly McCann, really enjoyed it. Mm. But then my boxing took off, got a world title shot, and never really thought about it again. Right. So um, you've got the first fight on June the 8th. Do you know your opponent is yet? Is that still being lined uh, up? I've got a good idea, but it hasn't been uh, confirmed yet. Okay, and you, you, you're feeling the time is right. Well, I suppose you had these conversations saying, okay, I feel prepared enough. I'm ready. I'm ready to go in and, and complete and do <laughs> <No>. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think when when would you ever be prepared for an MMA fight? That's yeah. what I thought. I thought, right, when will you ever think, I'm that confident in me kicking, I'm that confident in me groundwork. Mm. I thought if you start thinking like that, the debut yeah. will never, ever come. So, so that, finding an opponent, it's like all matchmaking, I guess, but finding an opponent that, that gives you a good workout. I mean, you know, you don't want to get beaten up. That won't be great for business, but you want you want a good fight, don't you? Um, oh, it, I've been told of many MMA fighters, there's no such thing in MMA as a journeyman or a journeywoman. So I know I'm, I'm, there's going to be no one coming in right. just to let me beat them. Do you know what I mean? It's, I'm going to have a hard night. That's interesting, isn't it? Because I wonder if is that is that the coming I mean, because journeyman boxers that people that that are sort of put up and put good fights in this they're legends in the world of of men's boxing. Are there are there sort of journey women fighters? Do, do you find that? Yeah, they are, but there's very few. Mm. So they're very expensive. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> very expensive. But there is there's in in they're there to help you learn. Really, they're not they're not worried about taking a loss. They're there to help you progress your career but like I said the, there's no such thing in MMA yeah it's, it's part of this decision to go to MMA that maybe the fights aren't there uh, in the world of boxing I was going to ask you that there are more rewards in MMA um, 
I yeah, um, to be honest, the the position I was in, it was look, I I I got beat off Clarissa Shields, uh, went away and won a well um undisputed super middleweight. So apart from the Clarissa rematch, there was nothing really there for me. Mm. And then the PFL approached me. Obviously, Clarissa signed with them. Yeah. And it was a case of, do you know, how see how things go. Maybe you can fight Clarissa in the cage. I thought, wow, what a narrative. This is this yeah. has got me. Well, my ears pricked up. Has she what? fought yet? I mean, yeah, she's, she's had, had a couple three. of fights. Yeah, three she's fights, had three, right. yeah. yeah. And what have you made of... You've been, I take it you've watched her fights. What have you made of her sort of transition? Have you learned anything from that? Well, very uh, rarely... The first two fights, I hadn't done anything. And I remember thinking, God, she's rubbish. <laughs> and then a the last fight I went, but because I'd done the bit of training myself and, and obviously struggled, like this transition myself, yeah. I just thought, wow, fair play at work because I, I get... I get how hard it is to go from a boxer, the stance, to learn in the groundwork and in such a sp- small space of time. So, really, I can't knock her. Can't yeah. knock her now. But I suppose, that, I mean, from the uh, Professional Fighters League, uh, their dream is to get you to in the ring at some point. I mean, that's it. You, you both want to, you probably both want to sharpen up and get used to this new discipline before before you do that, I guess. Hundred percent. I'd like I'd like one or two before I even I even consider that. But it's 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 refreshing because I'm not going up against Clarissa hasn't got a black belt in BJJ. No. Do you know what I mean? She hasn't been She's like you, much. she, yeah, she went she's in the, the same, pure boxing same right? position. So yeah. like I said, it's a new narrative and it's never been done really. You've a lot of MMA fighters go over to, to box and fight in the ring. Very rarely you see bo- boxers switch over and go into the cage. Yeah. Would you would you like to box her again? I'd love to box her again. Mm. I'm, I'm, to be honest, that's that's uh, my thorn in my side. Yeah, I'd, I'd love to box her again. I'm devastated that the, the 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 rematch never come off straight away, and it was just business, boxing politics was why it never. Yeah, um, I mean, I've taken. Well, I'm sure you've watched the fight back. Um, I mean, watching it at the time it was a great fight. But how, how do you view it now when you watch that fight back from what sort of October wasn't it to 2022? Um. Uh, frustrating, mm. frustrating mm. because even this might be me being a bit full of myself, but I still believe I beat Clarissa. I still believe I've got the skills to beat her. I just the game plan was totally wrong for that fight, and devastated. I never got the got the rematch to um, put it right. The opportunity to to have two fights lined up, one uh, in MMA and one in boxing, would be great as well, wouldn't it? Oh, 100%. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, hundred percent. And look, I'm I'm one of the very rare athletes that you know, I've got Sky Sport, I've got the zone there. Yeah. Like who can say they've got the 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 toe in in, in both pools? Sure. Mm. And just finally, that I've done your story of how you started boxing, and I'm sure you're not alone. Of all the women, successful women boxers got a lot of pushback when they first went to gyms, and people said you shouldn't be training here. I mean, you know, you've been a a, a pioneer of this. There's lots of great fighters that have meant now that that. Women's boxing is so different, and it's uh, it, it's it's going very well, isn't it? It's an opportunity for women to go and box now. Oh, it's brilliant! I was at a, um, an all female squad in Manchester on Saturday, and, and they'd brought a, a women's squad from Scotland, uh, the West the Glasgow area of Scotland, mm. and there must have been about forty young girls in the gym. Wow! I thought like thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I thought, wow, there was nothing like that when I was that mm. age. Nothing, and this is normal now. Yeah. Box cups, you know, juniors, juniors. I, I mean, I, I, I think the first time I boxed for England was 16. There was no such thing as junior women. It was senior women. Now they've got all sort of age categories for, for girls. It's, it's unbelievable. So first one, as we said, June the 8th, and then you, 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 you'll see how it goes, but you hope to sort of get back in there and, and have a few fights and then ultimately work up to uh, Marshall Shields too. Yeah, whether I don't know if it's in the ring yet or in the cage, we'll have to we'll have to see. Well, it's going to be on um, it's going to be on the zone, isn't it? I see. So you can go and check that out. I take it tickets are still available. It's uh, the U- Utilita Arena up in uh, Newcastle, Saturday, June the eighth, and you can see Savannah's debut as an MMA fighter. Lovely to see you. Yeah, um, thanks yeah, for having me. And we wish you. you well. And we'll we'll keep an eye on. And we'll we'll chat again before uh, before your next fight. Thank you very much. Paul Hawksby and Andy Jacobs. Monday to Friday afternoons, 1 till 4. On AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.